Cardi B is a force to be reckoned with. In addition to being a talented rapper and a colorful social media superstar, she's also constantly slaying in her red bottom shoes. If you're wondering just how Cardi fuels her body to make all those money moves, here's what she typically eats in a day. Here's some things that you need to know about me. Not everything. Y'all will never know everything about me, or y'all will know some things about me. One strategy that Cardi B uses in order to stay trim is to restrict the amount of meals she eats during the day. She revealed to Celebratainment, I also only eat twice a day. I eat a big breakfast and then I eat a big dinner. I'm gonna start drinking tea me. Tea me so I can start flushing down all, you know, all the remainders. Additionally, when Cardi wants to quell her appetite, she reaches for a detox tea that helps curb cravings. She added, Twice a week, I do Teamy because I can't do it every day, but I'm really thankful for Teamy because I really feel it helped my uterus get smaller. While we're not sure about Teamy's actual results, Cardi also credits the tea for helping her shed that baby weight. They say that breakfast is the most important meal of the day, and Cardi is here for it. She's even been seen chowing down on scrambled eggs, roasted potatoes, bacon, salami, and smoked salmon. By the end of the meal, she dug into yogurt with fruit while extolling those nutritional benefits, saying, Yogurt, it just keeps you balanced. I suggest women eat one cup of yogurt a day. Cardi then switched it up in another video, in which she shared that she was starting her day with quite the surprising breakfast selection. Well, this is what I'm eating for breakfast, man. Two slices of pizza and a caramel frat from Starbucks. And let's not forget the lavish breakfast spread that Offset laid out for her in February 2019. He clearly knows what his girl likes. Cardi is an open book about many things, including the plastic surgery she had while she was a stripper. So when she found herself dropping too many pounds after giving birth, she was concerned. She lamented that she couldn't stop losing weight, claiming via Instagram. Uh, and it's so crazy because when I first gave birth, I did everything to lose my baby weight. She said she was also trying Teamy to mellow out her appetite, but this is not to say that Cardi wanted to go up in size. Instead, she simply wanted to keep her perfect curves, she added. Now that I lost all the baby weight in my stomach and in my arms and in my face, now I want to gain weight, but now I can't gain weight because I have a terrible appetite. I can literally go 24 hours without eating. But thankfully, it sounds like that was just a phase. If you follow Cardi's Instagram, you know that she often posts videos showing off different aspects of her life, like dancing on her private jet, celebrating her many awards, or chowing down on chicken, to mention just a few. Her colorful social media presence was a driving factor in her rise to success, allowing her to amplify her reach. You watching me. You should know about me. You might like me. I don't know. You might find out something that inspire you or something. I don't know. Cardi also posts photos of food on occasion, including a shout-out to Dallas Barbecue, one of her longtime favorite chains. She wrote, This what I ate for my high school graduation dinner. I'm still eating the same shit till this day. Dallas Barbecue has a number of locations in New York City, so if you're ever in the Big Apple, you can drop in to see what all the fuss is about. While Cardi is an avid omnivore who loves all kinds of animal proteins, she's not afraid to try new things. She even decided to give vegan cuisine a shot, which she documented in an Instagram story, sharing, It's my first time eating vegan, y'all. I hope I don't waste my money. There's a burrito and there's a pancake. Cardi had a good reason for going vegan. She was pregnant with her daughter at the time and wanted to improve the quality of her diet. She said, Gotta eat a little bit more healthy and see what the f is up. While Cardi didn't say she'd stick to a strictly plant based diet, she did launch a vegan leather fashion line with Fashion Nova, according to Entertainment Tonight. So, healthy living is certainly on her radar. Whatever that I can set my mind to do, mm -hmm. I could do it, whatever it is. Cardi is a big fan of chips, including wrap snacks branded with her name, which she gushed about in an Instagram story, claiming, I'm not saying this because these are my chips, but these are the best chips ever, and if you want to call my bluff, just buy some. They're 59 cents. In addition to wrap snacks, Cardi also had a hankering for another salty snack when she was pregnant. She tweeted in 2018, I hate red Doritos, but for some reason I want red Doritos with sour cream and cheese and guacamole. I want it so bad, but I already ate my limit of junk food today. When the rapper Mama is craving some international flavors, she visits the snack aisles at Asian supermarkets. There, she has purchased everything from mochi ice cream to noodle bowls and dried crab. 
If you've ever heard Cardi's verses in the Jennifer Lopez song Dinero, then you know she sang the praises of Chip, Squawk, and Queso. And interestingly enough, when Chipotle got wind of this, they decided to give Cardi a big gift. A rep for the chain told the Daily Mail, when we first heard Cardi B's lyrics in De Niro about just wanting that chips, guac, and queso, it obviously resonated. We just so happened to also think that guac is the best green around, so we thought it would be fun to fill a pelican case with free chips and guac cards to set her up for a very, very long time. Of course, Cardi was delighted by the gesture and took to her Instagram story to tell the world about it. So I have a whole lifetime supplies of chips and guacamole from Chipotle! There are tons of places to eat in New York City where Cardi B grew up. It's one of the most diverse food scenes in the United States, according to Forbes. My name is Cardi B. Yeah. What? And I am from the Bronx. You know who I am. But of all the restaurants, food carts, and grocery stores in the Big Apple, Cardi has a special love for the upscale Chinese restaurant Philippe Chow. Cardi has been frequenting the restaurant for many years. Executive chef Philippe Chow told Us Weekly, Whenever she comes to the restaurant, she always makes a point to say hello, and that gives me the cue to go straight into my kitchen and start prepping some green prawns, her favorite dish. Another thing that stands out about her is that she never leaves the restaurant without saying goodnight. Along with stirred fried prawns, Cardi's favorite dish boasts a variety of seasonal vegetables and cashews. We're getting hungry just thinking about it. Cardi has her go-to restaurants all over the world. Sometimes I like Chinese food, but sometimes I really like Mexican food. But I really like my grandma cooking. Along with her pics in New York City, Cardi knows there's one thing you just don't want to miss in Atlanta. She told Vogue. Soul food is the best everywhere. Wings, they have the best wings everywhere. Cardi was also spotted at another upscale Chinese restaurant, Yulan Club, in 2018, according to Page Six. And she celebrated her birthday that same year at Beauty and Essex in LA, according to Discover Los Angeles. When the rapper finds herself in Paris, she dines at Cesar Restaurant. And when she's in the neighborhood, Cardi might stop at Waffle House, just like she did in July of 2018. It's clear to just about everyone that along with her upscale tastes, Cardi's also down to get her McDonald's fix on. For one, she famously celebrated her big night at the MTV VMAs in 2018 by making a late-night burger run in Times Square, according to reports. On another occasion, she took to Instagram Live to share her thoughts on how the 1% eats McDonald's. Spoiler alert, she says they all combine french fries with ice cream. If you guys don't have this and this at the same time, you pour. Cardi also posted an Instagram story in 2019 after another late-night run to Mickey D's, in which she asked, quote, "'What are we going to do with 40 chicken nuggets?' And to top it all off, she's also taken to Twitter, imploring McDonald's to bring back their cinnamon melts because she misses them. Maybe they will. This girl's certainly got clout." When Cardi was pregnant, she had a hankering for Chick-fil-A that Offset was happy to indulge. She tweeted, my man getting me some Chick-fil-A at this time means so much more to me than any jewelry he ever got me. After that, the couple were spotted at a Chick-fil-A in Atlanta, Georgia, picking up a large order of food, according to Eleven Alive. Cardi also name-dropped the chicken chain in another tweet several months later, showing just how serious of a fan she is. Not one to miss out on a trend, Cardi also jumped at the chance to try the spicy chicken sandwich at Popeyes, a Chick-fil-A competitor, according to her Instagram story. Cardi B is a busy woman. Between recording, touring, acting, walking the red carpet, launching fashion lines, being a wife and mother, and never failing to stir the pot, Cardi has a lot on her plate. So it's not surprising that her favorite thing to cook is simple and kid-friendly. She told Vogue, My favorite thing to cook is peanut butter and jelly because it's fast to make. Cardi's profession also requires a good deal of travel and meal planning. She took to social media in 2019 to ask for a bit of culinary help, tweeting, Breakfast, lunch, dinner, tired of eating the same shit. I need a chef in LA ASAP. If there's one thing Cardi absolutely adores, it's seafood. And according to her Instagram feed, she will eat it anywhere, anytime, even crab legs on a private jet. I need, I need some salt to eat this lobster. And speaking of seafood, Cardi was in for a major surprise on her first Mother's Day, according to Delish. The rapper walked into her dressing room to a seafood spread that cost thousands of dollars, all thanks to Offset. Cardi was also gifted a beautiful seafood platter in the land down under, when her hotel set up a plate of shrimp, caviar, mussels, and more, according to her Instagram story.
Fans might not know that Cardi is a big fan of Thanksgiving and everything that goes with it, but she's much less confident about her culinary expertise and feels she's a better sous chef than an executive chef. She shared in an interview with People magazine, I could help mash up the potatoes, know what I'm saying? Y'all want me to peel some vegetables, I'll help you with that. I mean, if y'all want me to cook a dish, I'll do it, but I don't guarantee it. But there is one dish Cardi feels she could totally knock out of the park, though she questions whether her husband's family would let her take the reins. She added, I think I could do a really good mac and cheese. I don't play with my mac and cheese either, so I feel like if I'm gonna go in and do it, I'm gonna do it good. But I don't think they're gonna trust me enough. Looks like we'll just have to keep an eye on our Insta to see what this rapper's cooking up next. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more list videos about your favorite celebs are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.